Hey, hey guys, what is up? My name is Technobo and welcome back to a new video. So, have you ever been playing a competitive game or any other game for that matter? And uh, there's someone behind you, you decide to spin around, you see his head, you click and you tab out. Well, uh, that's a problem that a lot of people have with multiple monitors and today I'm going to show you guys how to fix that really, really easily. So, I only found this out today and it's probably one of the most useful things that I will probably ever know about gaming with multiple monitors. So, first of all, what you're going to want to do is head across to the first download link in the description below. Download it, it's called Dual Monitor Tools. Install it, and once it's done installing, it should say Open DMT. Make sure that's ticked and it'll open up in your taskbar down at the bottom. Next, once it's open, double click on it and then head across on the left hand side to Cursor General. Once you're in general, you'll see lock cursor onto screen and there'll be a yellow thing saying disabled, most likely. Hit the change button and then a new window will pop up. Inside of that, make sure to enable this hotkey and then choose the hotkey that you would like. Personally, I'm going to use alt enter uh, just because it's not used for anything and pressing it during a competitive match or anything like that will probably likely cause nothing. You can always change this for any other game that you decide to play to make it the most suited. For me, alt enter is just the best. Uh, so then hit OK, and then it will automatically be enabled. So just to test it out, to make sure you have all of your screens on that you have, press the keys that you bound, for me it's Alt Enter, and then move your cursor between your screens. You'll notice that you won't be able to, and if you can't, that means it's worked. If you can still move your cursor between your screens, make sure to open Dual Monitor Tools as Administrator. By hitting Start, typing in Dual Monitor Tools, right click Run as Administrator. So yeah, I hope this helped you guys, it really helped me with my uh, competitive matches and stuff like that. So, don't forget to subscribe and like this video for more content like this, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.